Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tara and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we are doing a fun collab with Divine Feminine Energy. Please go check out her channel. I absolutely love her readings, they're so 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 beautiful. So in my reading we're going to be taking a look at your first impressions of your next partner and in her reading she's going to be doing your next partner's first impressions of you. So please be sure to check out her reading after you watch this one. So I'm now going to show you your crystals for each pile, but before I do, there was actually a message that came out for my singles that are waiting for love. So I'm going to show you the message we have here just for everyone. So this card came out and it says, trust the timing, trust the wave you came on in, time is not running out. And basically what this card says is that if you are single and waiting for love or if you have been waiting for love for a particular long time and you know wondering is it ever going to come my way it is going to come your way it is going to come your way this card talks about divine timing and trusting that even if we don't see you know the results yet or that physical manifestation of what we want yet that we are going to get it and i see this as like the future self at the top of the journey here telling you here you know I did receive it uh, so that's a very beautiful message so let me go ahead and show you your crystals now so for pile number one we have blue lace agate and we have the seas of mintaka And for pile number two, we have Golden Cat's Eye. And we have the Blue Flame. And for pile number three, we have Red Cat's Eye. And we have the card called. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. But of course, if you're drawn to more than one pile, always trust your intuition. Once you are done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below. Please also don't forget to check out Divine Feminine Energy's video down below in the description box link there. And then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones if you chose this blue lace agate heart and the seas of Mentaka card with seeing potential and bringing unconsciousness to light. This reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at your first impressions of your next partner. So if you didn't see the intro, this is a collab with the beautiful divine feminine energy so go check out her channel linked in my description box below as well as her video she's doing a video on your next partner's first impressions of you so after you watch this please be sure to check out her video linked in my description box so i'm going to get started with your reading but Please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. So I already pre-shuffled your cards and put them here. We're going to be using the Starseed Oracle deck. Okay, so the first card we have is the Great Severing with Mars Energy, Anger, Conflict and Softening to Love. So as I pull this card, I don't want anyone here to worry, but I'm kind of being told this is what this person had experienced from others, not 
as who they are. So we'll also check like what cards we get and see what shows up, but that's the vibe I'm picking up first. Then we have High Wrath with Longing for Home and Homesick for the Stars. Now that we have all our Oracle cards, I'm going to add our Tarot cards. So before I add your cards, uh, this was the card we have at the back of the deck. Wait, it's not yet time. Things are being woven. Okay, so now we're going to be using the Ethereal Visions Tarot for you. I also already pre-shuffled this, so we're just going to add the cards from the top. The first card we have is the Strength card. This is very beautiful, starting off your reading. We have the King of Wands, lots of fiery energies and watery energies here we see. So this person could either be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or they could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but just what I'm noticing, we have the Six of Cups. And with the strength card, maybe even like a lot of Leo energy. These could even be this person's placement. So, you know, they could not be like a water sun, but maybe they have a water moon. Do you get what I mean? We have the five of wands. And then we have the Queen of Swords. I'm just going to move this for now. And then we have the Chariot. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. And then at the back of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so my pile number ones, now that we have all your cards laid out, I can now properly look at the energies we see here in this reading. Funnily enough, I don't know why, like, in your reading, I keep feeling like moving around, moving my hands, moving my body. <laughs> like, before I started your reading, I was even doing, like, a yoga pose, and I didn't know, because <laughs> I don't usually do that. So, I'm guessing, like, maybe your first impressions of your next partner could be that this person could like to move around a lot, could like to move their body around, could like to gym, could like to dance, could like to go on walks or hikes, runs, could like just moving their body a lot, could just be a very active person. So that is something you may notice about them in your first impressions of your next partner. So of course the first impressions of them may not always be true, you know, this is just what you see when you first meet them. But the vibe I get here is that they're just very active. So, you know, maybe they take you out on a date or, you know, the, your first meeting, maybe you're doing something together where it seems like they're very active or maybe they're wearing 
uh, you know, gym or exercise clothes when you first meet them. Or maybe it's just something about the way their body looks. Maybe they look very fit and healthy, like they're always moving their body. Or maybe they just seem very active in their energy because, I mean, your person here is coming up as the King of Wands and the Strength card. So they may be physically very strong, very physically active, uh, look very hydrated, look very... Even the water here gives me the vibe of like... Maybe this person holding on to a water bottle and drinking water, looking very hydrated, looking very healthy and fit. Something along those lines. So that is the first impression you're going to get of them. You know, you may even get this first impression just because of the way they are or act when you first meet them. Like maybe they're, you know, just like walking around a lot or very upbeat in their energy that... There's all this fiery energy here in this in this pile. So, you know, this is what I see here. And Mars energy, it's funny that Mars energy comes up because Mars is not only anger and conflict. Mars is also the planet of action. Inspired action, taking inspired action towards our dreams. It is the divine masculine energy. And of course, each planetary influence has a positive and negative influence depending on the way we perceive it. So we may look at Venus, for example, and see it as, you know, beauty, love, pleasure, all those beautiful things. <laughs> Um, but we can look at the negative connotations behind it and maybe see, okay, like someone maybe on the negative side of Venus where maybe they're overly giving or too selfish or maybe they are a little bit over, overly materialistic because Venus can also represent wealth. Do you get what I mean? Or overly concerned with beauty or looks. So we can look at a planet and look at two sides of the energy, the positive and the negative, depending on the way the person is as a person. You know, someone may embody just the positives, whereas another person may embody the more negative sides of it. Whereas I feel this person embodies the positive side of Mars energy, uh, where they are very active, they're putting inspired action towards their dreams. I feel like this person has an inner strength within them. But as soon as I connected to this person's energy, like, don't get me wrong, they have an inner strength within their emotions, but there is this vibe to them that you are getting when you first meet them in your first impressions, that they're a very sensitive soul. Uh... Maybe they had to go through a childhood with the Six of Cups. You know, as I'm reading this, this could not be true. Like I said, these are your first impressions. But maybe they've gone through a very rough childhood where they had to... Where they had to really take on that strength in order to not wither away, I'm hearing. In order to survive. And I'm hearing the song by Alicia Keys called I Keep On Falling, that one that's like, I keep on falling in and out of love with you, uh, something like that. So with the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups here represents past energies, but I'm looking at these two children here and it reminds me of the inner child. You know, you could have a first impression of this person that they have some kind of wounded inner child that they are currently healing and, you know, moving forward from transitioning or changing away from. Um, or that they could have certain siblings that are significant to them in their life because these two boys look like siblings. Maybe that they had a lot of siblings or... The vibe I get here is kind of like, okay... This person maybe never got a lot of attention, had to kind of, like maybe they were the youngest, this is your first impression, maybe they were the youngest child, or maybe they were the child that kind of, I don't know why I'm seeing Lilo and Stitch and she's like, uh, I, I don't know exactly what she said, but I'm hearing like Lilo Stitch's voice 
I don't know if she even said this, but she's like, I'm hearing her voice and she's saying like, I don't want to be left behind and forgotten or something like that. So I don't know if this person's inner child felt left behind or got forgotten or felt like they needed to act out in certain ways to get attention. But I feel like either you have the first impression that this person comes from a really big family or comes from a smaller family, but there is some kind of pain they are healing from with the Six of Cups. So with the Queen of Swords, I felt either like a motherly energy or a sister energy or an ex. So of course, this doesn't relate to gender, but I felt the King of Wands is the person we're talking about. This could even be a woman showing up as King of Wands energy. Because when we read tarot, it's just the energies we are reading. It doesn't relate to gender. But with the Queen of Swords here, so it could either be like an ex-partner, a mother or a sister or a grandma. Yeah, because like I'm feeling feminine energy with the Queen of Swords. So with the song I heard, Alicia Keys, I Keep On Falling, uh, you know, she says, I keep on falling in love without you. And in love with you, sometimes I love you, sometimes you make me blue. Sometimes I feel good, at, time I f at times I feel used, it's one on one on the clock. Loving you, darling, makes me so confused. And then she says, oh, oh, I never felt this way. How do you give me so much pleasure and cause me so much pain? Just when I think I've taken more than, than would a fool, I start falling back in love with you. So maybe this person had someone in their life, like an ex, that made them feel a little bit like a fool. I get the vibe of like this person has maybe been in certain toxic relationships in their life and you know this is your first impression of them that maybe they've been through certain connections in their life that didn't exactly turn out the way they wanted it to and I feel like your first impression of this person is that they're a very sensitive soul they feel things on a very deep level more than the average person and if this is a woman we're talking about, if you're attracted to women, this could be a woman that is very sensitive, that feels things very deeply. You know, she really connects to her emotions on a deep level, as well as maybe even being very empathetic and sensitive to energies, like Spirit is showing you Queen of Cups energy. If this is a man, like if you're attracted to men, this could be a person that you know, is very active and physical, yes, and shows that side of them to the world, but I feel like maybe you see a deeper part of them where they are really emotional and they are feeling things very deeply, more than the average person, but like, I feel like with the man's energy, because, you know, this is a general reading with so many of you watching, I feel like with the man's energy... There's something about it kind of being hidden or at least this person thinks it's hidden to the world. But it's like you see them on a deeper level than the average person. So it's like you see not only the... You know like how in astrology we have our rising sign, we have our moon sign. It's like you're not just seeing the rising, the the kind of first impression of what they're putting out, but you're also seeing the moon side, you're also seeing the inner world of this person. Does that make sense? <laughs> For those that will know astrology will know what I'm talking about, but like maybe someone here likes astrology. But yeah, like you're not only just seeing what this person gives you in their face and in their outside appearance, you're seeing deeper, you're reading between the lines of this person and your first impression and meeting of them. So if this person is non-binary, you know, you can take it in the same way, but just a little bit differently, I guess. So I guess it will resonate differently with everyone and you may see it differently, but 
The key words here is that this person, like I said, is a sensitive soul. They feel things deeply. They have a really big heart. This is your first impression that they have a really huge heart. And it's like they're trying to give love to everyone around them. Or at least this was their past energies. And maybe the people around them didn't appreciate it as much because... I feel like the people around them were kind of like toxic with the five of wands. Um, if this person had like any friends, you know, you may have the first impression that their friends were always in competition with them and never really liked them for them or loved them for them. And it's like they are reaching out. They are always the ones putting themselves out there and trying but as soon as they stop trying those friends stop reaching out like that's the vibe I'm getting here or if they had siblings it's always like competition and conflict and all these energies and if they had a significant mother figure or sister in their life because I felt those feminine energies from the queen of swords or like an ex in their life could be man or woman or non-binary but if they had like an ex in their life too and or like a mother or sister there's something there about that energies being a little bit toxic with the queen of swords you know the person could have spoken a very angry way could have said words that were very uncalled for is what I'm hearing and I feel like you, when you first meet this person in your first impressions, there's something about you seeing their pain, you know, like maybe they have a big smile on their face, maybe they're being active and moving around with you and making you feel upbeat, but then it's like you see deeper behind their eyes, I feel like you're going to look into their eyes and see a deeper part of their soul where... You're seeing their pain, you're seeing their wounded child, their wounded inner child, or their wounded self. And that is the vibe I get here. But you're also seeing their heart. And I feel like in your first impressions, it is very accurate to them. Or at least this is what they will say. Because you're seeing them deeper than the average person. You're seeing their depths and I'm hearing the song by Mac DeMarco for the first time. So something about this person looking at you and just feeling like you see them deeply. I think when you meet this person, there's something about you feeling like, you know, you see potential in this connection. Maybe even feeling like you resonate with this person's soul on a deep soul level because... The Seas of Mintaka card makes me feel like, you know, this deep love, it's deeper than the ocean. <laughs> and it's kind of like, we're not just swimming in the shallow, shallow waters, you know, we're in the deep ocean of love. And it's never ending, it's endless. So there's something about that, like you feel it the first time you meet this person, like that deep connection, maybe even having deep conversations with this person and just feeling like you two click. Um, I'm hearing another song, maybe you two will like listening to music together, or maybe this person likes music or you do. So it's a song by Nalu, but like, I'm hearing the line where she says we just click something like that. So I'm just trying to find the song name because I don't remember what it's called. And Nalu's songs are very much like love songs because the Alicia Keys song was like almost like a toxic relationship song. But this is like very much, you know, a really romantic love song. All her songs, Nalu, is like very romantic. Okay, I found it. <laughs> So the song is called Bedtime Confessions, but although it sounds like Bedtime Confessions, like, it's a very, very romantic song. Like, when I'm in your person's energy, my pile ones, I feel very emotional, and I felt like this this morning, like, because I knew it wasn't my own energy, like, I felt very sensitive. I feel like your person's a sensitive soul. They may be very empathic, too. 
Um, cause like as I think about this song, I want to create, I want to cry tears of joy, but like <laughs> I don't usually do that. So, uh, the lyrics are "Ain't nothing matters if we got love." Where we go, spiral above. They say that chivalry is dead, but when we merge together, we go beyond. Cause I know my desire, and you know what's up. We intertwine over a glass of wine and maybe spend the night. Sure is one of hell of a ride. And then she says, ain't nothing matters if we got love. And then she says something about like, honestly, you're the nicest thing I've had in my bed. We just click. I don't question if this is legit. Give me chills even when it's hot as fuck in this bitch. So... She says, you make me feel so good. Honestly, I'm truly feeling the love. So I heard the line where she's like, we just click. I don't question if this is legit. So this gives me the vibe like from the song. You know, you and this person may have a very intense connection in the bedroom. <laughs> this is not an 18 plus reading, but this is just the message coming through. You know, you may feel this person softening to love with you because it's like maybe your first impression of them is that they've only experienced harsh energies and you're the first. It's like they've only experienced this desert sand and they've been longing for the water their whole life. The water would be that nurturing energy because that's what the water element is. That nurturing, that cleansing, that healing, um, loving, compassionate energy. So they've been dying for that their whole life. And now they've finally found their water with you. And that's the vibe I get here. <laughs> I'm kind of losing track of my my thoughts but maybe this is how this person is like maybe when you two are talking it's kind of like they lose track of what they were going to say and they're like what was I saying and you know you just go from point a to b to c to d in topics and it's like what were we talking about in the beginning because I was going to say something else I feel that energy <laughs> so from the song's energies you know you may have a really deep relationship with this person or feel a deep connection to this person like a deep soul connection because she says when we merge together we be go beyond but then she also said they say that chivalry is dead so maybe this person could be very chivalrous and could be very sweet to you in the first impression like doing little things for you of course depending on who's watching this um, and of course, you know, you're just going to feel like you two just click in the in an instant, like there's no questioning it. You just feel like, you know, you've longed for a connection like this that feels like home and both of you have longed for it. And, you know, the pink here uh, makes me feel like a feeling of love. So I feel like both of you are going to feel in love in your first impression and meeting but the vibe I get here because some of you are going to listen to this and be like loved like this is only my first time meeting the person like what um but yes love I'm not even going to correct it because this card makes me feel like you two have had past lives together and the sense of like I've been longing for a person my whole life like I knew there was someone out there for me because your soul remembers that other soul you spend past lives with. This connection gives me a very ethereal vibe, very magical uh, ethereal type of vibe and it's like your soul remembers that, so your soul is longing for that. And when you two finally find each other, it feels like a puzzle piece that just clicks in place perfectly or fits perfectly together. And it feels like it's something you've been longing for, for both of you. So this gives me a very dreamy energy. Like you may see your person and your first impression of them as very dreamy in some way. Or you may feel like you are in a dream. Like this surreal type of wor world. Like 
of course, this is your first meeting with them, your first impression of them. You know, you don't know if this relationship is actually going to go. Well, this connection is actually going to go to a relationship here with the chariot. But of course, we're doing a reading on your next partner. So we already know that it is. <laughs> um, and with the Knight of Swords in reverse, this makes me feel like both of you aren't going to be too impulsive with like maybe telling each other this. I, I don't know if you two are going to tell each other this or necessarily communicate what you're feeling, but there's this vibe of like you're both feeling it at the same time. And now Spirit is showing me the little mermaid when she's in the boat with Eric and they're looking into each other's eyes. And of course, the little mermaid doesn't have her voice, so they're not speaking, but they're both feeling it and you know, looking into each other's eyes, looking away, feeling shy. Like, that's the vibe I get between the two of you. Um, also, one last thing. I think you know you may wait for this person a little bit because we had that white card at the back of the deck. And I feel like uh, last message from Spirit here is if you do wait for this person a little bit and you are waiting to meet them, they're going to come into your life when they are ready, when they are fully at their strength, when they have found some kind of key to healing their past, because it's like spirit doesn't want to bring them into your life if they are not ready yet, because this person kind of needs to go through their own journey, find themselves a little bit, heal themselves a little bit more, find their strength, find their power, change, transform in some way, and then I feel like they're ready to be in your life. And your first impression is going to be that there is a lot of potential in this connection for this connection to grow into something more. So this is where I'm going to leave your reading, my pile number ones. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Please also don't forget to check out Divine Feminine Energies video linked below in my description box for your partner's first impressions of you. So I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pal number twos. If you chose this golden cat's eye crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at your first impressions of your next partner. So, by the way, we're starting a reading at 1333 on the clock. So, this lets me know that this reading is going to be very divine. This is a collab with Divine Feminine Energy, where she is doing a reading on your partner's, your next partner's first impressions of you. So, please be sure to check out her reading after you watch this one, linked in my description box below. So, you chose the card The Blue Flame with Spontaneous Awakening, Activation, and Integration Time. We're going to be using the Starseed R deck and I already pre-shuffled your oracle deck so let's take a look at the cards we have so the first card we have is I remember with soul plan the faded life versus the destiny life and then we have wait with it's not yet time Things are being woven. And at the back of the deck, we have loosen your grip with coping mechanisms, density, addiction, and let God in. Now we're going to be using the ethereal visions tarot so this is the nine of wands then we have the world
Then we have the Ten of Wands. Then we have the Knight of Cups. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Three of Cups. And then at the back of the deck we have the lover. So as we see on this lover's card, we see a couple getting married. So this may not just be your next partner, but this may be your actual next marriage partner. There is potential of that happening. Of course, don't hold on too tight to my word because tarot readings in the future when we do predictions it is basically a possibility of what may happen in the future but it doesn't always mean that it is a definite yes so this could be potentially your next future spouse okay so with the lover's card at the back of the deck i feel like in your first impression you're gonna feel like you see this person, you see yourself having, you know, a long-term connection with them, you see yourself being in this connection for a long time, and you see the potential of this. So, now that we have all your cards laid out, I see kind of like into the energy here, and I kind of got the vibe like you will dream of your person before you meet them. So this may be my intuitive psychic pile, but the vibe I get, like I said, is you will dream of them before you meet them. Even if you don't see their face in the dream, there is something about you feeling the energies and the sense of remembrance. So when you meet them in real life, there is a sense of remembrance, like maybe you see the same hair color, maybe you see the same eyes. Maybe you feel the energy and it feels like the same person. I don't know what it is. It's different for all of you, but there's something here about the sense of remembrance when you meet this person. You know, you may have even had multiple past lives with this person, past life experiences. For one, I'm seeing Egypt. I'm seeing lives as animals, like birds. <laughs> Of course, because she's sitting in the bird's nest, but like, I'm seeing you two as like little birdies flying around together. <laughs> um, I'm seeing maybe even lives in other realms, other dimensions, and just like other places not on this earth. I'm also seeing Africa, I'm also seeing Thailand, Bali, like I think your soul's like to incarnate in really hot places like I'm picking up on like really nice hot places I'm also hearing an Antarctica <laughs> so it's like your soul even if I say certain things here and it doesn't resonate it's okay but the feeling here is you've had lots of past lives with this person and there is a sense of remembrance when you meet them like, I know you from somewhere. I swear I know you from somewhere. I've never met you before, but I swear I know you. And now I'm hearing a song by Snow Allegra. I just want to find the lyrics of it. Okay, so the song is called Fool For You. And what's funny is the Fool card is the beginning. It's the new beginning. It's the start of everything. So it's interesting that we are doing a reading on your first impressions of your next partner and the song's name is Fool For You because the Fool card is literally about new beginnings. <laughs> I'm just reading in between the lines of the energies here, but 
Okay, so in the song she says, It's something about you that's so familiar. Something that's got me wanting to know you. And I can't put my fingers on it, but it feels like, oh, I've been here before. It's something about me that makes me wonder. I swear I met you, but you're a stranger. And I can't put my finger on quite what it is. Oh, but I've been here before. And then she says, maybe it was me who brought you here. I should run the other way, but I stay right here. And I'll be a fool for you. I know myself, but I pretend. I leave and I come back again. I'm a fool for you. I love you time and time again. I know how just the story ends. Oh, you remind me of someone I once knew. Maybe I'm crazy, but it's hard to ignore you. And I can't wrap my head around it, but it feels, oh, like I've loved you before. And then she says, and I'll be a fool for you. And it goes on and on and on like that. <laughs> so it's a really beautiful song. You should listen to it. Her voice is very beautiful. Um, But yeah, like I, I heard those beginning lines where she was like, it's something about you that's so familiar. Something that, that's once, that's got me wanting to know you. <laughs> So I feel like when you do meet this person for the first time, there is a sense of soul remembrance. Like, I know you. I swear I know you, but I don't know you. <laughs> and I'm also seeing that movie, that you movie You Again. I think it's called You Again, where they they find each other again and they're like, You Again. <laughs> uh, so I saw that scene. So there's something about your souls recognizing each other in your first meeting, which is really, really beautiful. And with the fated life versus the destiny life, I feel like in some sense, you know, you are fated to meet this person in this lifetime. And with the wait card, it's not yet time. Things are being woven. You know, you may wait for this person a little bit before you actually start some kind of relationship with them because the feeling I get here is yes you can be a fool for them but you know spirit doesn't want to bring them into your life if they're not ready yet and it's not that they're not ready to experience love yet, but with the Ten of Wands and Nine of Wands in the world, I feel like they are going through certain challenges in their life right now. Uh, there is something they're carrying, like a heavy weight they're carrying of burdens, of frustrations, of guilt, of sorrow, like all those emotions they're holding on to. Uh, that is challenging for them in some way. And with the world card, they first need to go through their own process of letting go and healing. And ending certain cycles in their life that are challenging to them. So it's not easy things they are letting go of. It's challenging things here. And I'm smelling smoke, so maybe they're trying to stop smoking and become healthier or something like that or maybe it's just like certain habits in their life that aren't healthy for them moving forward in their love life it doesn't have to be smoking but you know there's nothing wrong with smoking of course some people smoke and that's okay you know it does have its risks of health you know it can uh, harm your health in some way of course we all know that but I guess this person is maybe wanting to quit or they're wanting to quit certain things that are just not good for them because there's something about them that is also wanting love, also waiting, also wishing on love. <laughs> I'm seeing like someone wish upon a star, uh, wish upon a shooting star. <laughs> um... So with the wait card, I definitely feel like, you know, you may wait a little bit for this person, but know that even if it feels like it's taking forever and you're waiting for this person and everything like that, things are being woven in the spiritual realms to prepare both of you for this beautiful connection. Because, you know, since we saw the lover's card at the back of the deck, it shows them getting married. 
So this could be your future life partner and Spirit wants to make sure everything is set into place and prepared so that you meet at the right timing. I'm hearing at the perfect timing so that everything is perfect and in place but of course we know nothing in life is perfect, no relationship is perfect. However, both of you may go through a little bit of your own soul growth before you meet each other so that it almost feels perfect. Does that make sense? So with the white card in your first impression of them, you may feel like they have been waiting a long time too for love. You know, they may tell you like I've been single for years or they may just give off that impression to you and it will feel like, whoa, like I've been waiting, you've been waiting I'm seeing like you joke maybe in your mind like I've been waiting you've been waiting let's get married I'm joking like that that's what I'm just seeing like as a joke uh so with the knight of cups in your first impressions of them you know you may see them as someone that kind of wears their heart on their sleeve and you know you may wear your heart on your sleeve for this person kind of just I'm feeling like you sort of start falling for this person in your first impressions. Like maybe not falling in love with them, but maybe this vibe of like, they're almost taking your breath away because I feel like I'm catching a breath as I, you know, connect to the energies. Uh, there's something about the things they say, who they are as a person that like kind of takes your breath away. It almost makes you like whoa, like this is you like how am I so lucky to meet you that's how I feel you'll be feeling in your first impressions of them that they are just kind of like this sweetheart person with the knight of cups offering you all their love I feel like you will see them as a very gentle soul but also someone that is really a hopeless romantic that's a vibe I pick up on here, like with a heart of gold. You may also have a first impression of them that they are creative in some way. I'm feeling the vibe of creativity and the vibe of creative ideas and visionary types of energies, but also just a very loving person. So you know how like there's that person that whatever they touch turns to gold. Like I'm seeing that energy with this person, you know, with the gold crystal you chose as well as all the cards, like with these gold shimmers here. Of course, they're not shimmers, but I don't know what to call it. <laughs> so yeah, with the Ace of Wands, you may see them as someone that has a lot of passions or hobbies or interests or a specific passion, hobby or interest that kind of lights some type of passion within them. You may see them as a very passionate person, as someone that has this fire within them that they're ready to spread to the whole world. As I connected to the energies of your reading, I felt a solar plexus healing for your person, so I feel like this is maybe something hidden in them that they don't exactly show to the whole world. Like, for example, if this person paints, I don't think they're going to show the whole world that they paint because I feel a little bit of shyness, like, ab about showing what they create here or about something like that. Of course, they don't have to be creative in the way I mentioned, but like, let's say they like. Uh, I'm seeing something about like making games, like making computer games, like they want to do that. And maybe people in their life have told them that's silly. And, you know, they're really passionate about games and video games and they want to create their own video game. Uh, it's like an energy like that. Or let's say this person you know, wants to start their own business and they're really passionate about it. I don't feel like they tell many people about their dreams and goals because 
I feel like this person has had certain people put them down or at least this is your first impression of them. Like they don't want to tell the whole world what their plans are or what they want to do uh, because they have this fire of passion igniting in them waiting to be shown to the whole world and this person has real talents that can be seen in whatever they do. Of course the examples I mentioned don't have to be them but it's kind of like that vibe of them having certain talents and you can see it in them. You can see they shine brightly. You can see that they have raw talent in them that is that can be seen by the whole world in some way but it's like they're a little bit shy to show it. So you may get the first impression that certain people have put them down for maybe how they are as a person and things they get excited about like if this person gets excited about something and says sorry you know you may get that first impression like who told you you can't get excited about things or let's say this person starts laughing and then they say sorry or like that's a vibe I pick up it may not be for all of you but I'm picking up that vibe so with the Nine of Wands, you know, your first impression may be that you, this person has been through many challenges. They're kind of holding on a lot of the burdens of others, the weight of others, of what others have said to them or what others have done to them. And with the world, they're ready to let go of it. They're ready to... They're ready to let go, Yeah. I'm now hearing the song Bag Lady by Erica Badu as I said they're ready to let go and basically in the song she says bag lady you gonna hurt your back carrying all them bags like that and she basically talks about carrying the weight of our emotions as like a bag we're gonna hurt our back if we <laughs> continue um but it's kind of just a metaphorical song so I think this person in your first impressions, you get that vibe like they're ready to let go of something they've been holding on to, but maybe you're not exactly sure what it is fully. You just get the vibe that they've been through certain challenges in life, like they didn't maybe have the best life, but there is this vibe of them being okay though. With the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like in your first impression of them, you see this person as, like I said, very hopeless romantic, but very grounded at the same time. So this person may have a lot of earth energy, because I am picking up a lot of earth energy from the Knight of Pentacles. Or they could just be very earthy, very grounded, very stable, could just have that vibe even if they're not an earth sign which is Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. There's also a lot of fire energy with all the wands cards here but I feel like that's kind of, kind of a hidden energy within them that they don't show the whole world. So fire signs are Aries, Leo or Sagittarius but I feel like if this person had to have fire in their chart they would probably have like a fire moon because I feel like they don't show the whole world the side to them. Um, they may also be a water sign with the Knights of Cups, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Three of Cups is also water energy. So with the Knight of Pentacles, I see you seeing them as a very grounded, stable individual that is very consistent with the things they want to do. You know, this person may have very good manners is what I see. I see this person being very courteous is the word I'm hearing. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Let me just Google it. Okay, polite, respectful, and considerate. Okay, I thought so, but I wasn't sure. So with the Knight of Pentacles, that energy, and I see them being very consistent with you, like throughout the whole day of you two getting to know each other, but throughout the time of you getting to know them later on as well, it's like they're, they're, they're the same person in your first impression of them as to who they are later on. 
It's like they're the same person in your first impression of them as well as who they are later on. So it's like they're not showing a fake version of themselves in their first impression. Like there's this vibe of them being very real because I'm also hearing that song I'm Real by J Lo. <laughs> Uh, that's why I say there's this vibe of them being real. Up front, like, they're not wearing a mask. They're very authentic. This is what your first impression is. But maybe also just a little bit shy. And timid, I'm hearing the word timid. But with the Knight of Pentacles, I kind of feel this vibe from this person. Like, they're ready to put an effort towards any type of connection, you know, if you are messaging them or texting them, I see them, you know, being consistent with that. Like, if they message you in the morning, they're going to do that every day. It's not like, oh, I message you today in the morning, and then tomorrow morning, I don't message you at all. It's like a very consistent energy, uh, very stable. You know, this person may even have a very stable work or career life and you know, put in a lot of effort towards their relationships. This is their first impression. This is your first impression of them. So with the Three of Cups next to the Weight card, I kind of feel like in your first impressions, and this may actually happen, but in your first impressions, you will feel like you two will start as friends with the Three of Cups. You'll start out creating a relationship really, really slowly and really build a connection because with the Knight of Pentacles, although the Knight of Cups, this person wears their heart on their sleeve and you can kind of feel them being very attracted to you and you know, feeling something for you, but there's something about this person wanting to build trust with you, wanting to build a safe connection with you, where you feel honored in in all your emotions, in love, you know, where this person really wants to get to know you first, really wants to build a relationship first. And with the Three of Cups, your first impression of them is that you two will start out as friends and get to know each other really slowly. And this person also wants to show you they respect you and honor you by taking it slow because there's something about them not needing to rush things not needing to jump into things but knowing that if they want something to last a long time they need to put in a little bit of effort so this is the vibe I get from your first impressions of them of course no way of entering a relationship is right or wrong some people may enter a relationship very quickly like I know with my boyfriend <laughs> We moved in very quickly with each other, but it's still lost it. But I feel like with your person, there's something about them really taking it slow with you because they really want to show you care and respect. They want you to feel that. So this is the vibe I get from your reading. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Please also don't forget to check out Divine Feminine Energies reading mentioned in my description box below. So check out her video of your next partner's first impressions of you. So I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my pile number threes if you chose this red cat's eye crystal and the cold card with soul gifts and training it's time to step up. This reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at your first impressions of your next partner. So this is a collab with the beautiful divine feminine energy. So check out her link in my description box below for her video of your next partner's first impressions of you. So please be aware this also is a general reading. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. I already pre-shuffled your cards. We're going to be using the Starseed Oracle deck. So let's pull your cards. So... 
The first card we have is your life is a canvas with artist manifestation and creative accountability. And then we have the golden children with inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. We see a lot of cards about gifts. And then at the back of the deck, we have surrender to the sweetness with Venus energy, pleasure, joy, and make love to life. Now we're going to be using the Ethereal Visions Tarot. So the first card we have is the Five of Swords. Then we have the Three of Wands. Then we have the Knight of Wands. Then we have the Eight of Cups. Then we have the Judgment card. Then we have the artist. Oh my gosh, so many cards about art. This person is definitely creative for a lot of you. And then the last card we have is the magician. Super interesting. At the back of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So firstly, I'm hearing the song Moonlight by Kali Uchis. And <laughs> um, if you know that song, you'll know what I'm talking about. But there is a kind of vibe here of, you know, you and this person kind of having your own things to do together uh in the song she talks about uh getting high with her lover so I guess that could mean that you know your first impression could be that this person smokes weed or drinks alcohol or something like that like maybe you two are together because you know I'm not just making this up I literally heard that song and I guess maybe you two would be like maybe sitting together, maybe they'd order a drink or a drink for you or something like that. Or if you do, then I guess that would resonate, but maybe it won't resonate with everyone. Um, I was also hearing the song that goes like sunshine, lollipops and rainbows every night. <laughs> And it talks about like just this very, very happy feeling she gets when she's with the person she loves. Uh, so, you know, you may get this first impression of them that they're a very happy-go-lucky person, like always bringing sunshine everywhere they go. And I feel like this person in your first impressions of them you'll feel like they can make you very happy. Not that you are looking for someone to make you happy because, you know, we shouldn't be looking for happiness in someone outside of ourselves. But there is a sense of vibrancy, the sense of color this person brings into your life um, that you will feel this person will bring in in terms of your first impression of them. And I'm seeing two people eat food together, so, you know, you two could also both be foodies, or I'm seeing, like, someone and their lover go to art museums together, 
travel together, do really fun things like that together. So there's something here about you maybe being on the same page or having similar hobbies and interests. And that is your first impression of them. Um, that you could do that in the future. Uh, also in your first impression of them, you can tell that they have a very youthful appearance. There's something very youthful about their appearance and maybe they even look younger than they age and you're like quite surprised by that. You're like, okay, for example, it doesn't have to be this age. This is an example. Let's say they're like, I'm 33 and you're like, oh my gosh, really? Like you don't even look like you're in your 30s. You look like you're in your 20s. Is that type of energy or this person, even if they don't look younger than the age? they could act very youthful or act like there is this inner child within them. You know, even if they are 50, they could still be young at heart, even if they are 40, 30, 20, whatever age it is, <laughs> because there's so many people here. There's something where they're still young, wild and free at heart. <laughs> and I think you can tell that from your first meeting that there's still this kind of inner child presence to them. There's still this playfulness to them, this innocence to them. This person may even be innocent in the sense where, uh, like in your first impression where maybe you think they're going to think or act a certain way, but then they don't. And there is a sense of like, you know when you go on first dates with people and you don't exactly know what to expect, you don't know what their intentions are? I feel like you being like that and then getting to the date or getting to this first meeting with this person, like if it's planned or, you know, you could not know them and just meet them and not know what their intentions are straight away. But like as you get to know them, it's like you kind of feel out the energy and you're like, oh, this person has a sort of innocence to them where they're not just trying to get with me. And now I'm hearing that song by Fergie that's like, my hum, my hum, my hum, my hum. <laughs> so of course this isn't an 18 plus reading, but I guess I'm getting the feeling here like this person isn't just wanting something physical with you with the Knight of Wands. So I'm not going to focus too much on that energy, but there is that sense of that in your first impression of them, that they have this innocence to them, this type of feeling of like, I just want to hold your hand, I just want to kiss you, I just want to go on walks with you, get to know you, like no ulterior motives. And maybe that's something you will appreciate. Like, I don't know if this pile of people have had certain people just want that from them and not want more. Uh, so this is what I see here. Uh, with your life is a canvas, I feel like this person in your first impression of them is that they are always creating their reality, that they may be actually very creative. Maybe they love poetry, music, because as I was pulling the cards, I don't know if it will show on camera, but like there was a car driving by and playing like really loud music. So I don't know if that's part of your reading, if it's meant to be part of your reading. Um, but like maybe this person loves music or loves to create art, loves to look at art. Uh, maybe they like to write. Maybe they like to sing, rap. Um, maybe I'm seeing like pottery or like baking. Uh, someone that is a chef. So there's something here about you having a first impression that this person is creative in some way, that they love to create art, that they love to create in general, and that they're very talented at what they do. They have some type of gift in what they do. And I guess you have the first impression that they could create a lot within that and really live up to the, not expectations, but I'm not getting expectations. It's like living up to what they want to manifest, living up to the full potential of their gift or talent in some way. 
So this person in your first impression is just very gifted, very talented. And with the Three of Wands, you can really see them going far in whatever they do. Like, that's for sure a given. That's what I see here. Uh, with the Judgment card, I feel like you maybe even see them having really amazing ideas. And there are certain things you really connect on in your first impression and first meeting. So, like, let's say this person... Uh, likes pottery and you like pottery too and you two are really connecting on it sharing ideas like I'm seeing you meet someone that wants to start a podcast but like with the five of swords uh, there's this energy of like even if this example isn't for everyone you know there is this energy of like for everyone here where maybe this person wants to start it but feels like they aren't good enough with the five of swords or feels like you know why would someone want to watch my work or watch me or see what I have to share with the world uh why am I worthy of that like with the five of swords it's kind of like the self-sabotaging energy of like I want to do this but will anyone even like what I have to offer or share so there's something about that and then like wanting to do it in the future but like not knowing when or having a real talent but not wanting to show it to the whole world. So I see something about that and you uh, maybe connecting with this person on a similar hobby or similar thing or even if you don't have a similar hobby or talent or gift to them, there's a sense of seeing them reach their fullest potential and the highest heights of their manifestations in the future, seeing the growth within them, seeing the talent within them. So there is a lot of focus on that and I guess I'm seeing you two like talk about the future with the three of wands in, se in the sense of your plans. Uh, so like, let's say you ask this person, like, what are you doing? Maybe they say, I'm studying, or I'm working, or I'm doing this, or... And then these are my future plans. Like, they let you in on their goals, what they want to achieve in the future, the things they want to see in the future, uh, the things they want to do in the future. So there's a sense of you two talking about future prospects and ideas uh, is what I see here. And there's this vibe of, like... What can we create in the future? So like, let's say this person says, you know, uh, for example, I see maybe someone studying to become a doctor. Oh, in five years, I want to be a doctor. And, you know, after I get my degree, I want to start working there. And kind of like letting you in on their plans. So with the three of wands, it's like, even if that example of doctor doesn't resonate, it's like, okay, this person is letting me in on their plans. So then your first impression of them is that they that they really are open with you, that they're trustworthy, that maybe you even see a future with them because there's a sense of, okay, if they can let me in on maybe what's happening in the future, then that must mean they really trust me. That must mean they really like are open with me and and that's the vibe I get and with the three of wands you know this person may talk to you in your first meeting about future things you can do together future things that would be fun to create together like or let's even say this person is an artistic but they're like oh in the future we should have a paint date or we should go to a museum or we should do this we should see this this show or something like that like with the three of wands it's not like just them seeing you it's like also them making future plans with you and that's the vibe I feel here so you two are very much going to be on the same page I feel like you two really flowing with the conversation and feeling like you two are really connecting I wouldn't say on a deep level there is a sense of depth here but it's more so like you know when you're talking to someone and you're talking and then they reciprocate it and you know you're like okay I like this and they're like oh I like this too and then you're like both getting excited and you're both adding in 
excitement into the conversation and you're both like back and forth back and forth and it, it's like I don't know how to explain it but I see like those types of conversations between the two of you where there isn't even a drop of silence <laughs> it's like full of excitement the conversations and that's the type of vibe I see here a lot there is a sense of jokiness and playfulness between the two of you like when you meet and there's a sense of like you seeing this person as a very playful person. Someone that is very free spirited that doesn't take life too seriously. Like I keep seeing travel and things like that. Like maybe this person loves to travel and that's your first impression of them. But with the Knight of Wands I feel like this person lives for adventurous things. Loves for excitement. Uh, wants that type of passion and adventurousness in their life and I feel like you really relate to them on that level um, and there's a sense of like let's go on a hike together let's do this together let's travel together let's do this together <laughs> like I feel that vibe and um, just this very passionate energy between the two of you so your first impression of them is that they are very passionate about life that they're adventure seeking that they seek the thrill in life and it's not just like I'm not seeing it in a way of like oh I'm drinking and partying and things like that of course there's nothing wrong with that but like I see this person wanting to do more like adventurous things like travel um you know do things where they're doing like rock climbing or like jumping out of a plane things like that and that's what I see here uh they seek some type of thrill so what I think you will find about this person is that they're very sweet uh that they also want a long-term connection they want they want to grow this is your first impression of them, that they want to grow, that they want to put an effort towards their future so that their life can grow around them, so that their life can be filled with everything they want and everything they are passionate about. And I see your first impression of them being that they want a long-term relationship, that they are looking for that and that they're looking for a relationship where you two can be best friends is the vibe I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on like two lovers, two peas in a pod that are also best friends. <laughs> and with the eight of cups, I see you going home and smiling and feeling so excited for the future, feeling like my heart is full, uh, feeling like, like I'm, I'm just so excited, like I want to see this person again, like I even want to message them. I don't care about like if they're thinking I'm desperate or whatever like of course I'm not saying you are but you know how after we go on a first date with someone or after we first meet someone there's always that society thing of like you shouldn't message them too quickly or blah 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 and I see you like not really caring about that I see you being like excited about this and they reciprocate that too and I, I just keep seeing this energy of you two laughing together, you two having smiles together, making jokes together, being joyful together, being free-spirited together in some way. And I see something about, even if this is like not a first date, there's something about you two noticing from each other from afar and admiring each other or thinking the other person is very attractive. And you may get the vibe that they're very attractive and they may get that vibe from you too. So I think this is all I see in your reading. Um, I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Please also don't forget to check out Divine Feminine Energies reading listed below in my description box so that you can see the video on your partner's, your next partner's first impressions of you. Bye!